Now, there isn't a lot of good news expected in the federal budget tonight, we know that, but Kevin Rudd's $900 stimulus payment has at least been a bit of a boost for retailers. But what is the best way to spend it? Well, we set the challenge for two shoppers to find the best bargains. I think I can cream this in. Two mums. Any bargain's a great bargain. One room. You can save yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars. One stimulus package. It's best to get, you know, a good bargain wherever you can get it. It's just bargains everywhere. It's great. Lou and Joe are the best of friends, but have two different outlooks when it comes to shopping. Lou strictly shops online. It's perfect, especially when you have little babies. It's hard to get out and, and sort of go to several different places. Joe loves shopping on foot, hunting, researching, haggling. I like to haggle, and I like to haggle in person. Here's their challenge. Fill this lounge room using the $900 the government wants them to spend. I think I'll sweep it in in this challenge. I've got the whole world at my fingertips. She begins her online shopping odyssey. Got TV and, and surround system here, um, rugs here, audio systems here. It's just, it's awesome. Remember, she has a room to fill and just under $1,000 to spend. Look at this. This is $40. It is used, but it's got no scratches or dents on it. It's been used once. Bargain. Gumtree, eBay, Oztian, Grays Online. Her gateways to never paying retail. Look out, competition. You've got some real work ahead of you. She will not beat me. Jo is in her trusty ute. At the end of the day, you're getting the product that you've seen that you have bought. She's found a lounge in the trading post. What fabrics? Uh, Microsuede. How much were you thinking of selling uh, for? 500. I scour the newspapers, I look for bargains. 500 the best price? Just make a best offer, it's ready to go. Okay, uh, how about 350? Make it 400, it's yours. There's a bit of a mark here. Can't do 350? Yeah, right, no problems. Back in the ute and back on the hunt, Joe's next stop, an auction house. Another gr good outlet for me is consignment centres and auction houses where you can actually go and see the product and haggle, haggle for it and it's fantastic. Well that's a great entertainment unit, yep. but there's a couple of scratches on it. Well as I said, that's why it's here, um, probably damaged in transit. How about $50? Right about two to two fifty. That's How uh... about... A hundred dollars. Two to two fifty. A hundred and fifty. Look, I'll meet you halfway. One seventy five. One seventy five. Sold for one seventy five. Uh, Thank no you. No problems. No worries. But I also need a coffee table. Okay. This table retails for four hundred dollars. So two hundred is the best you can do. Would be absolute. The best I could do, Joe. The best you can do. Exactly. Joe's biggest weapon when it comes to haggling, she's convinced, is her persistence. Can you do better than that? Come on, Dale. Is that the lowest you can go? Dig deeper, Dale. Dale, I think you can do a lot better than $200 for me. You really put me on the spot. Look, 175. I'm bleeding on the floor at the moment. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't want you to bleed all no, over the floor, no, so I'll buy right. it for okay. 175. Don't, don't, Thanks, no Dale. Worries. Her mission complete, she and her youth are heading back to see what Lou's come up with. Then I can rub it in her face. <laughs> she won't rub my face in anything. There is a boatload of goodies in the back of this car. I am going to wipe the floor. She picked up this Sony Bravia 26-inch LCD screen from Grays Online for $422, normally retailing for $1,100. The price started for the TV about $9 and it just went from there, so yeah, really pleased. This couch with a minor tear for $340, normally retailing for $1,900. A real bargain. I love it. This coffee table sets it off at $123, more than half its price in the stores, and scored this home theatre for $150. $50, valued at $600, a massive saving. Grey's Online, I think, came, really, really made the difference, really sort of tipped me over the edge. That bargain was amazing. All up, Lou scored $5,794 worth of furniture and electricals for $1,173. I think she's done a really good job. We asked bargain hunter Pam Durkins of Pam's Discount Shopping Guide to assess Lou and Joe's efforts. She's got a nice little second-hand sofa here. She paid about $300 for it. Uh, I think that if it was brand new and in perfect condition, it'd probably be about 1000 So that was a very good buy. I was very impressed with her Sony Bravia television, which she bought for $422 for an LCD. I think that was a particularly good buy. 
Joe picked up this couch at a private sale for $350. At D&D Auctions, she scored this coffee table for $175. She also got this entertainment unit for $175. From Ross's Auctions, these bookshelves for $150. And this rug from a clearance centre for $90. Total cost, $940. Retail value, $2,050. I find that this is really very low quality furniture. And to be honest, it's not going to stand the test of time. And the winner is... Look, I think that both Joe and Lou did a tremendous job with the stimulus money that they had to work with. But I think at the end of the day, online shopping and Lou's purchases win the day. Here's Cheers. Good shopping. You did good. I did better. Here's the next challenge. <laughs> Either way, you've got to haggle. James Thomas reporting on the Battle of the Bargains. We'll be back right after the break.